Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, exam is quite near and there are so many things which you must be confused about, especially regarding how you can maximize your marks, how you can minimize your mistakes in the exam, how you can get the best result with whatever preparation you have done till now. Okay. So, I have thought of making, um, I have thought of dropping certain videos before the exam comes and uh, these videos will be like, I, I have thought of dropping them daily on the daily basis till the exam comes so that you get an idea of how to approach the exam properly, how to minimize your mistakes, how to maximize your number of marks and uh, get the best from whatever preparation you have done till now. Okay. So, keeping that in mind, this is going to be the first video where I am going to talk about that how you can score more than 130 marks in your CSR net exam. Now, the thing is why I have kept 130 marks because see, if you have if you will analyze all the previous 10 year of uh, CSR net exam, you will yourself see that the cutoff has never went more than 117 marks. Okay, That was the maximum cutoff which went in the past 10 years and uh, that means that 117 is the highest cutoff which has touched till now and we are assuming that okay if it goes beyond that also so 120 can be the highest it cannot go beyond that okay that is the maximum cutoff which can be achieved okay that can be taken as a generalized statement keeping that in mind 130 is a safe score you can get a good marks uh, 130 plus will be a good marks you will be able to qualify jrf with it rank does not play any important role uh, in the case of csr net exam that's why you don't think about you know all India rank and all that is more important from the gate perspective, but for not for not for the CSI net perspective. So uh, the focus must be more upon qualifying the exam. Okay. Now how you can do that? Okay. So 130 marks when I'm telling, I'm not going to tell you to approach 130 marks. I will be telling you to approach 150 plus marks. Okay. Because see what happens that whatever marks you approach, whatever marks you keep as a target, you will always get 20, 30 or 40 marks more uh, less than that depending upon how much command you have of the concept okay if your concepts are very clear if your accuracy is quite good in that case your uh, marks will be uh, 20 marks less than what target or how much marks you have attempted for if your uh, command is not that good if you have just an average command over the concept uh, if you have done a lot of silly mistakes in that case your gap between the marks which you have attempted and the marks which you have obtained uh, will be somewhere around 30, uh, 40 or 50 marks okay so, keeping all that scenarios in mind, 150 plus is the score which you should approach, which you should attempt and 130 marks should be your target. Okay, It does not depend upon on what category you belong to, uh, which uh, you know, uh, uh, what is the general cutoff of your category. Don't think about all those things because these are only going to spoil your mind in a way and they are just going to make you uh, or give you a perception that 100 marks is also more than enough to qualify the exam but in the exam when you go you will sit and you will just attempt 100 marks you will uh, get marks around 60 or 70 which is not going to help you in any way okay so this is very 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 important point and uh, this is third mistake which i have seen students doing since many years and i every year every time i try to correct this i try to convey this that please 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 don't uh, do this mistake those who are giving this exam for the first time you must be experiencing these things for first time those who are giving it for multiple number of times you might have already learned from your mistakes but now uh, what i'm trying to tell you is whatever marks you approach or whatever marks you attempt your marks which you are going to get or obtain is going to be lesser than that so it is always good to have a higher target make your target 150 plus now how you are going to get or how you are going to achieve a target of 150 plus that is what i'm going to tell you in this video okay so first thing first the first point is that you have to attempt exam more than 150 marks see the total question paper which you are going to get in the exam including all the options and all those things if you count the number of questions you get 60 questions in part c 60 questions each question is of 40 marks so that means uh, uh, sorry of 4 marks so your part c is itself is of uh, 240 marks right part b has 40 questions each question is 2 marks so 80 questions from uh, 80 marks from there part a has 20 questions each questions of 2 marks so 40 uh, 40 marks from there okay uh, so you have 80 plus 40 120 and uh, you have uh, around 240 from there so your total paper is of 360 marks so you have a paper question paper of 360 marks out of which you have to do 200 marks you have to maximum you can attempt is of 200 marks but what i am telling 
because it is not possible for everyone to attempt for 200 marks 150 plus should be your target how you are going to achieve that let's talk about it and let's divide this whole thing in section wise okay i'll start from section c because that is the section where you have lot of options where you have lot of questions and you can choose questions from there and also this part will be important for those who have let's say studied only organic and inorganic in detail or those who have studied physical and inorganic in detail and they have left the third topic or they have not studied that third topic in that much detail okay so for them this section is very important you have to uh, solve as many questions uh, as possible from this part because this is the most scoring part of the whole exam okay part c is the most scoring part of the whole paper in part c you have to do 25 questions try to attempt 22 plus questions don't do less than 22 questions never leave number of questions see many times it will happen that when you will sit in the exam or if you have given test series you might have seen yourself that uh, you are capable of doing 15 questions very confidently and after that you have doubts in seven eight questions and you leave the paper you just do 15 questions with confident with confidence and you just leave the other seven eight questions thinking of that let's not take the risk in those questions but that is not the correct way of approaching the paper okay 15 questions 16 questions 18 questions in part c if you are attempting and you are thinking that your marks will be more than 110 120 that's not going to happen and that's not going to happen i have not seen that happening in the past years that's from where i'm telling you okay so please 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 don't do that don't just leave the paper by attempting 16 or 17 questions in part b no sorry in part c you have to attempt more than 22 questions okay let's say you are confidently able to do 16 questions in part c you have to do six more questions you have doubts in six questions or you are not confident you have you know 50 50 uh, chance of a particular answer in part uh, in the next six questions what the worst thing is going to happen out of those six questions three can be correct or three can be incorrect okay let's say if three are correct and three incorrect those three incorrect are going to give you minus three and those three correct are going to give you plus 12 because each each question is of four marks so you are going to get plus 12 and minus 3 so at least again you are going to get plus 9 marks okay let's say 4 are wrong and 2 are correct if 4 are wrong minus 4 for that 2 are correct plus 8 for that plus 8 minus 4 is going to give you again plus 4 so in any such case also even if your doubt uh, it just goes for two correct questions out of six in that case also you are in a positive way or you are getting plus four marks okay and plus four marks is is better than getting zero marks or getting no marks from there that is why i'm telling you that you have to take risk just by doing 16 17 questions you cannot expect of qualifying the exam with good uh, score okay so the second point major point of this video is that you have to attempt more than 22 questions in part c in any any case okay if you don't know questions try to uh, you know if you if you are not able to uh, do 22 questions with confidence just give a guess some you know if you have studied the concept it it is not going to happen that you don't know anything about the question okay don't do like blind guessing that is not going to happen you must be having some idea of the question uh, at the most case you must be stuck between two options okay so take a call and answer one question okay and do attempt 22 plus questions in part c see when you will attempt 22 plus questions you will you yourself or you you have uh, already attempted around uh, 80 to 90 marks already okay around 90 marks you have attempted for the exam now let's move to part b now part b and part a both are uh, having similar marking scheme uh, two marks for each correct answer minus 0 0.5 for each incorrect answer so uh, let's talk about part b now so if in part b you have 40 questions out of 40 you have to do 35 right now out of those 35 try to do 25 questions now here the concept of when we say now that you have to study all the three organic inorganic physical all the three part b is the place where we this part or this logic actually is applied because here is the questions the questions are uh, mixed of all the three and you you don't have much options in part b you only have 40 and out of 40 35 you have to do so that is why we always emphasize that you have to study all the three so that you can do more number of questions in part b so in part b at least do 25 questions okay 25 questions is a must in part b uh, you can even do 20 questions and the rest you can do in part you know you can increase the number of questions in part a so that is you can you can play around with part a and part b but yeah 25 questions in part b and five questions in part a so let's say in case if you are able to do just 20 questions in part b 
and if you are able to do 10 questions in part a then also it's good okay so from part b you will be getting 25 questions that means 50 marks and from part a if you have done five questions you are getting 20, uh, 10 marks from there so 10 plus 50 is 60 and over there you have already attempted 90 marks so 90 plus 50 will be uh, uh, 90 plus 60 is going to give you 150 marks 150 plus okay so that's how you have attempted 150 plus now when you have attempted these many questions in exam now you can expect key okay by uh, after some silly mistakes after some you know uh, 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 some some incorrect question some negative marking your score is going to come down a little bit out of 150 you have attempted it will come down and if your accuracy is good you will be getting somewhere around 130 or 120 marks and you will be able to qualify the exam this is something which i have been telling student every time and uh, those who have implemented they have got help or they have you know uh, they were uh, they were able to do better in exam uh, so that's why i'm making this video because it, it's high time you all should know about it now i know the exam is near and you must be having a lot of questions you must be having certain doubts not regarding the regarding the subject but regarding various different things uh, regarding your previous uh, you know a way how you have attempted or some mistakes which you have been doing or something which might, might be there in your back of the mind so you can ask those questions to me directly on instagram because that's a place where i'm i can answer you through voice notes also through uh, you know uh, by sending you voice notes and that will be quicker way of you know interacting and uh, clearing your doubt so earlier we used to talk on the email but that's quite time taking and instagram is quite fast in that case so we can use that and the instagram handle is right there on the screen uh, you can click on that or you can reach out to me on instagram uh, discuss your doubts if you have or if you have any certain specific question regarding preparation or regarding anything regarding your own uh, doubt about the preparation you can ask me over there i'll try to answer you as early as possible over there all right so having said that there is one more thing which i wanted to discuss in this video that is time management for the exam how to manage the time but i think the video is already long and i don't want to extend this video so i'll be talking about that in a separate video a very effective way of of uh, you know maintaining the time or managing the time uh, the three hours of the exam that i'm going to talk about in the next video so stay tuned for that subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet and do comment if you have any specific questions regarding preparation and that's it from my side for this particular video i hope whatever i have said is making sense to you and you have understood the thing and probably it is going to help you in your exam and in your uh, in emphasizing or in your accelerating your marks so that's all from my side take care see you guys in the next one uh, see you guys bye bye